What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and today we are talking shifts. Now, as a player and now a media member for a long time, I held the belief that shifts were good. You have the data, the analytics to back it up. If you know where a guy hits the ball all the time, you should probably position your defense there. And I had that take for a long time. And then this guy named Bob Costas, yes, that Bob Costas came on our show and said he wants to get rid of the shift. And the reason he said is that he wants these athletes to show off their athletic ability. And it makes a lot of sense when you really think about it that way. A center fielder should be in the middle of the field. And we want to see him go lay out for a ball in the gap, show off what makes him that good instead of shifting over and standing right under that fly ball. So ever since he said that, and he said it so eloquently because he's dang Bob Costas, he's changed my mind a little bit. Now I'm thinking, should we limit shifts? Should we not have outfield shifts and limit defensive shifts in the infield? There are so many ways you can go. I lean more with Bob Costas now because I do think fans want to see guys go get it. Francisco Lindor, who's in this video we're about to watch, also said the same thing. He said, let me be a shortstop and go get the ball. So the play we're about to watch happened in the Padres-Mets game over the weekend. Manny Machado shifts over uh, to short right field. The Padres like to do this a lot. Um, ball goes off the bat, and we'll see what happens. But this is one of those plays that makes me say, man, I kind of like the shift. So here I am in a pretzel, baby. That's how it goes, though. Uh, we'll see what you think. Before we get to the video, you know what's up. DraftKings has another great offer for you. Listen to it right now. And then we'll go to the video. DraftKings is back with another one of their offers. It's the same one as last week. We're talking basketball here. And if you're thinking about getting in and getting a book, DraftKings Sportsbook is not only my favorite sportsbook, but also America's top rated sportsbook. The promo they have going right now is the one to 100 deal. Take any basketball team that's still in the playoffs, pick them to win, put $1 on them. And if they do win, you get $100 in betting credits. So if you're thinking about getting into it, go do this. Get, get your stacks up right away because they're giving you 100 to 1 odds. That's $1 on any basketball team still in contention. If they win, that $1 turns, in, turns into $100 betting credits. That's the way you got to start off and then make it rain. And all you got to do is download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOHNBOY when you sign up to turn that $1 into $100 in free credits. Bet on the basketball team of your choice to win their next game, and if they do, you will claim $100 in free credits. That's promo code JOHNBOY for a limited time. Only a DraftKings Sportsbook must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Wager paid out in site credits. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Okay, okay, okay. Let's set this up for you. The graphic you're looking at now is the team defensive positioning for the Padres. This is with a runner on first base and a lefty up. Now, the deep red circles, that's where guys are more often. And then the blue shadow, that'll be where they're at less often. So, typically, it looks like they have Machado lined up right here in that first and second base hole. But right now, because Francisco Lindor is on first base and they're clinging to a two-run lead. They're playing no doubles. Now, I don't think I have to explain no doubles to you guys. It's exactly what it sounds like, just a, a, trying to avoid extra base hits. So in this scenario, because they're doing that, Machado's going to be out here in like short right field. Meyer is overshaded towards right center field and back. All the outfielders will be back like two or three steps in a no double situation. So here it is on the graph. Uh, the Padres are about middle of the road when it comes to shifting. With lefties, they uptick. They're like upper third uh, in terms of league averages in shifting. So this is something they do quite often. Uh, so here's the graphic, and I'll show you what it actually looks like. There's Machado in short right field. Will Myers way back. All the outfitters are back. But this is one thing people don't like. Like Machado's a third baseman. He's all the way in right field right now. It's very interesting. So this whole part of the field is open. And then this right here, this little fence line kind of comes in and creates a strange angle that's going to come into play. Uh, so there's the visual. Like it or not, this is what they are doing, trying to avoid the extra base hit clinging to that 4-2 lead. Now let's go to the video. 3-2 pitch tries to go down and away, and he misses the spot. Up and in, McKinney gets to it. Nice swing, and there's Machado going out. Myers running over, and there right there 
This is the part of the wall I'm talking about. You see the ball just go crazy off of it. Goes crazy. Now, with no Machado there, that ball's in a roll, and there's going to be no one to pick it up. But there's Manny, the third baseman now, almost on the warning track in right field, gets the ball in and keeps McKinney at third base, preserving the lead, 4-3 now. Again, this is where people get lost on the ship. Manny's a freaking third baseman, and he's in right field doing it right there. To me, I go back and forth here. Now, I feel like this is kind of a beautiful play. This is some diehard baseball stuff where we, we had the information, and it worked out for us. And But the traditionalists will say, that's stupid. He should have been Myers' ball the whole way. Maybe the center fielder comes over there. And here's a slow-mo of it. McKinney, great swing right here. And he's going to hit off the wall. We're going to stop it. Try if I can stop it right there. Bad position for Will to be in, but I think he's he knows it's okay to go try to get that ball because he has Manny. And again, Manny is on the freaking warning track, hammers it in, and watch the whole entire Mets bench is saying, go, 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 go. And then they realize, wait, the third baseman's in right field. He has to stop. So 4-3 now instead of tied up 4-4 four, because four, most likely that's an inside the park home run. And then we're going to see what happens. The very next batter, Drury, comes up with a chance to tie it. First pitch swinging. Ground ball to our guy Tatis who throws him out. The Padres go on to win this game 4-3. to three. They preserve the lead in that inning because of the shift. I want you guys to sound off. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment if you think the shift's should be banned in baseball. Or, hey, this is a great play, Trev. We want to see more of it. I'm kind of on the camp of keeping them. I go back and forth. So what do I know? This is uh, our first video of two videos this week. We'll have another one on Thursday for you. Hope you're having a great start to the week. And uh, we'll see you then.